This story, this, this, as soon as I saw this story, it made me think back of how many times I've seen this story. This is a story where Chiquita uh, International reached a settlement with families of six Americans who were killed by the Columbia FARC terrorist group. Yeah, there's a blast from the past. Yeah, sure. it is. It, it sounds a lot like some of the stories we've heard, whether it's Chevron, Shell, I mean, some of the big companies that have been caught up in this very same kind of thing. But here, in, in this case, you had Chiquita report that they paid well in excess of $200,000. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is when they made the first payment, Chiquita makes this first payment to this terrorist group. I mean, it's FARC, their right. terrorist group. They understand that what they want to do is use that terrorist group to control people, citizens, that are objecting to the way that Chiquita is doing business there in Colombia. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're hiring their own thugs. They're hiring murderers. They know who, the, who FARC is. Right, muscle. They, muscle. It, it's muscle. They're, they're paying, paying for, muscle. for muscle. Now, the first, uh, what, what is your take on it? I mean, first of all, this isn't, this isn't close to being enough. I mean, you know, there needs, here again, how do you, how do you pay for murder and there'd be nothing more serious than this. Take your, give well, me your take. Uh, on it was a long period of time that uh, this story's been kind of leaking out for over a decade that uh, Chiquita paid close to $2 million over time where they were well, funding it was 1 .7, FARC. $1.7 million over time. But over anyway, time, yeah. that $1.7 million, and this is in the infancy of this organization in the beginning when they were cash starved. So what do they do with that money over time? They bought more ammo, they bought more guns, they, they, uh, they better uh, arm themselves and they just increased their operations. So it fed, they fed that organization until they started to go in. And uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, like you said, it was uh, five missionaries and a geologist kidnapped her right out of their own home. And what was gut-wrenching to me, this is back in the early 90s, this mother was 23 years old. They barged into her house, two young kids were asleep. They dragged one of the missionaries out, handcuffed him, took him off into the jungle, never saw him again. And what did they do? They made, they made ransoms. They made ransoms because Chiquita's right there paying. Nobody paid in this instance. The guy ends up getting executed, never sees him again. My heart went out to this, this family. The mother said it was the hardest time was Christmas. Every year, Christmas time, uh, the girls would ask that uh, their dad would come home, yeah. and they never got any remains. And here's Chiquita behind the scenes paying money, a lot of money, over time, funding this yeah, organization. Okay. Here's what I think is really Chiquita said, oh, gee whiz. We funded both sides. There was, you know, both sides that we had to pay money to to keep our, and their our argument was safe. to keep our employees yeah. safe, which is an absolute crazy, it's absolute crazy talk. What the money was paid for was because you would have something that Chiquita would do. They would, they would, you know, they would use pesticides that would affect uh, people in the area. They would take property of people in the area. They were doing things that citizens around the, the uh, around their operation to. would object to. The missionaries would, of course, side with these people. And so what, what Chiquita said is, well, okay, we're going to pay out this money. Now, now, follow this just a second. It's one thing to say, and they say, oh, we had no idea. Really? Yeah. So the first year, let's say over time they pay out in excess of a million dollars, which they did. Mm -hmm. So they pay out in excess, they make the first payment. Let's say it's $200,000 that they pay out. The next two weeks after they pay the money, something happens. Arms are brought in. You start seeing Escalates. people start dying. Right. Things start escalating. Okay, that's the first time. Then they pay out another $500,000, and it escalates even more. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist for the people in management at Chiquita to understand clearly what's happening. They're throwing gas on the fire. Yeah. I mean, it's, the, uh, it just got worse and worse and worse, and it escalated, and people lost their lives. And, I mean, that's a, that's a, a huge international company that uh, is feeding a, a, a terrorist organization. And it's not the first time we've heard this story. We This is a story this that's repeated. This is part two of the story. Yeah, actually. it is part two of the story. But it's, it's something that's repeated itself time and time. Now, here's the real twist on it. Now, this only happened because you had the Anti-Terrorism Act that came mm -hmm. into to being, thank goodness, we have ways that we can deal tools, with, with, right. with tools for dealing with this type of terrorism. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. They're funding terrorists. As you are working on the same case I'm working on, our law firm's working on the case where we're finding that banks are washing money for terrorists. So they, the, the terrorist, you know, the, the, ter the money goes from UBS right. 
it's washed, and then it ends up on the street in the hands of terrorists. And we're representing people, of course, who have been uh, victims of terrorism. I mean, th th that's where that's where this ends. So we're suing not, you know, we're suing our, 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 our we're suing the banks because they understand clearly what's happening with the money, just like Chiquita understood here well, what's if you were going. trying to connect the dots on those two stories, I think what's interesting is that without Chiquita, without the banks washing the money, you wouldn't have these problems. The people, we wouldn't have as many military folks coming home without, without limbs and without us and without... Uh, or, fa or missionaries or that lose that their... Or uh, widowed and kids that grow up without a, a, a parent. So the, the travesty of this is big corporate America uh, taking the, the profits, taking the... and paying off terrorists to keep themselves and their bottom lines and yeah, promote the it's, goods it's, it's, at the expense of regular people. It's all people. about money at the it, end of the day. So what? We lose missionaries. We so what? We get Somebody hundreds of millions of dollars in, in, in deposits in from these terrorist organizations. We're going to wash it up, scrub it up. Nobody's going to know where it's coming through or that it's going well, back to Iran or Iraq. This, now, again, this is only happening because of the Anti-Terrorism Act. Mm -hmm. Now, what I predict is you're going to see banks in companies like Chiquita Bobby. doing everything they can to make this anti-terrorism act go away. It's an extremely important act that allows us to go after, you talk about white collar criminal, this is, they are like the top of the food chain. And so this is an example where this actually happened.